door! Emma, are you all right? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming bloody murder. Okay? You look totally lying. There was something. Where's Matt? Come sit down, sit down. Something's out there. Did you there. guys split up? A monster is involved. Wait. What are you talking about? I said there's something out like there. Like what? Gosh, relax, it was Josh, it was all no, Josh. No, 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 listen to we me. We got him tied up, he can't hurt you. No, it was after me and it wasn't human. Hold on. Em, can you tell us exactly what happened? I, I'm trying to tell you, the cable car was not an option, so we went for the fire tower, and, and then there was a blizzard, and these deer attacked us, they just came right out of nowhere. You gotta be kidding. And one of them went for Matt. I, I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head, I found Oh it. my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks when we were all up here looking for her, and we had no idea. <sighs> That's horrible. Listen, in in the tower there was there was a radio and and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em. You made it. Oh god, yeah, yeah, Mike. Barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. I... She's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. What the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. L uh, let me have the pistol, because I mean, you could take whoever it is through sheer good looks and m muscle and all that. Just, I, I should have the pistol. Sorry, Charlie. No pistol for you. Not after what went down in the shed. Come on, man. I was trying to protect you. Well, now I got you covered. So, don't worry. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? Jesus! Oh, ha, ha. Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Ah, oh, what? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What's he talking about? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. Find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. 
No, no, he, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No, I, I'm not letting anything else happen to him. Anything else? What, what do you mean? Uh, Chris, don't. I hit him. We thought he'd killed Jessica, and, and, and so he got me riled up. And I hit him in the head. Chris! Maybe he deserved it. No matter what, we can't just let him die. Then, I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. You're going alone. It's suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. And don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me, I know. So, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. Uh, what's uh, what, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you've been shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. But how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them if you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable? Or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Some patterns, like any animal or human. Well, you mean like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. Any uh, pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they can get to smell me or something? Oh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that? See you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. Damn it, what happened? Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the way you go, he'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So the launch then. Yeah. Let's go now. Might still be near. I 
forget it.